So I started off this raid solo and initially everything was going decent I would say. I was able to get inside the first room and was able to loot it pretty effortlessly. I then started working on getting inside a second room and this is when things started to get complicated. Inside this room there was a very strong thrall that was making it very difficult to get inside. After some time I was able to loot the second room by running inside and climbing onto a furnace to avoid getting slaughtered by the thrall. Next, I needed to get inside a third room, which seemed to contain the most valuable loot of this raid. Unfortunately, the thrall was in my way, so I decided to try and find a different way into the third room. I looked around their base, and at one point, I fell to my death because one of their thralls speared me while climbing around the base. After respawning, I searched for my loot back, but by the time I made it back, someone had already looted my body and taken all my explosives. Feeling severely hopeless and disappointed, I looked around for a bit and and I was luckily able to find a person who had looted my body. Now here's the twist, it turned out that the person who looted me was a person who I had briefly met on my previous server and was also one of my viewers. He ended up giving me half my loot back and we actually decided to join forces and take on this raid together. So here is where the story picks up in this video. Alrighty guys, so we have a change of plans now. So we decided that we're gonna team up and actually do this raid together. So we're gonna go back to that room and uh, we're gonna see what we can do with that thrall. Okay, so here we are. Uh, he's gonna give it a shot, see how he does against the thrall. Okay, so he wants a spear. We'll see how he does it, because I couldn't kill the thrall at all. You just like spam it over and over. He says that it's hard, <laughs> and I'm telling him that I ran out of poison arrows. He says that it will take too long. He's gonna try again. Oh yeah, so a little brief history. So basically on the old server that I was in, I was going around just exploring bases and stuff. So I was trying to get inside a base and he showed up and he didn't attack me. He just he ended up joining me and helping me check out the base. And yeah, we got inside the base. There wasn't really anything. And then uh, we just chatted for a little and then we went our separate ways. I never saw him again after that. <laughs> Um, and now it's been like what maybe four months or something since it, this is like when I started my YouTube channel So it's been quite some time. It's just funny. I didn't even recognize him I only remembered like his ID because he has a different name. But yeah, that's what happens uh, And yeah, he was pretty nice. I mean he didn't have to give me any of my stuff. You know what I mean? Like he could have just ran. So the reason why I fell earlier is because I was trying to find a different door around. And the thrall on the other side knocked me down with a spear. So I fell. I landed on that ledge. But then my body fell. And that's when he passed by at the right moment and looted my body. I thought my loot bag was on top of that ledge. So I ended up climbing and missed my chance at getting it. And now here we are doing a raid together. But yeah, let's see what's going on inside. But dang, how long is it going to take with that spear? This thing has like 12,000 HP or something. This is so cool. <laughs> I'm just watching because like I have an encumbrance build and I don't have any more potions. It's been about what, like 10 minutes of this already. I wish I could see their HP, but for some reason I think it's glitching. Oh, he did it. He did it. Alrighty, now we're one step closer to that loot room. Let's jump to show our excitement to Varg. Alright, he said it for me to take this. And I got a sword now. Nice. Let's see what's behind this door. Oh, this is where all the loot was. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, time to blow that door. Yo, look at this. This gear looks awesome. Let's give that POV. I'm the cameraman right now. Oops. Can't take any more damage. All right, let's see what's in here. Ooh, I'll take a gas mask. Let's take some aloe. Oh, look at that. Some brimstone. Okay. He said to grab it all. Okay, we're going to blow these up, he says. I'll give him the, the dragon powder. We're trying to craft some more uh, explosives. Need demon blood now. All right, let's go. This thing's about to blow. All right, let's look at it. There it is. Oh, this is gonna be fireworks. I've never done a dual raid like this. This is pretty cool. I'm gonna stay away from here. Let's see if we can get a nice view. Imagine it kills me. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Did they break? This one did. Uh, this a lot of star metal. Oh, I need that spice hound. Oh, demon blood. Chemical base. Gonna make more dragon powder for the rest. He says he saw my video <laughs> or watched some of my videos. That's funny and cool. All right, DP is ready. He says I can pick which one I want. Mm, let's see. Da 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 da. Thralls, black eyes, simple materials, weapons, kits, tools, building. I don't think uh, he's going to have some crazy kits. Let's go with the thralls. All right, let's go. Oh, there you go. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got some crystals for days. Some, oh, some tier 3 Nordheimers. <laughs> Alright, let's see this one. Oof. Sigil of Snake. I don't know what this is. Some poison arrows. I think he logged in. Okay, so the owner did log in, and now this feels a little awkward because I thought they left the server and this base was just gonna decay. Now I feel bad about raiding this. Uh, so the owner says, like, oh, it's part of the game. He says it's all good. Oh, get the eyes. Oh, crap. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, lots of materials. 
Jeez, I feel really bad. I don't know how I feel about this. Okay, I guess we're off now. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Got all the loot. Alrighty, so I'm over here now with Var again. I'm asking him what he wants, and he said that it's all good. I can keep it all. So now I guess we're just going to go back to our base and secure our loot. Alright, I'm going to go secure the loot. Uh, I feel so bad. <laughs> So I read something interesting in the chat because the owner of that base, he said something along the lines of, is this because I raided you? So I think he actually uh, raided me back on the other server, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, I think he did. I remember now. Yeah. So yeah, I do remember him now. <laughs> That's interesting. He thought I was just doing it because I was getting him back. But, uh, but no, I honestly thought that his base was about to decay in like 13 hours. I didn't even know who it belonged to. Like, I just saw like the clan. I didn't know the user. Okay, I gotta drop off all this stuff. These. Alrighty guys, so I just came back to the base that I just raided and I've been talking to the guy I just raided and I told him that it was my bad for raiding him because I honestly thought his base was gonna decay. So we're chatting and it's going well. He's being a good sport about it. But you know what? I think I've decided that I'm actually gonna give him his stuff back just because I don't want him to be wiped. And yeah, so we're gonna go back and uh, pick up his stuff and come drop it off. Okay, and look at all the loot I got too. It was like some basic tools and then Oh shoot, this is my loot. <laughs> Whoops, my bad. This is his loot. <laughs> There's this brimstone for days, some demon blood that I would really like. The hardened brick. Star metal. Oof. I could really use some of that, but I feel bad. There was this nice uh, tier 4 blacksmith. Ton of uh, insulated wood. And then what do we got here? Ch -ch 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 -ch. A lot of demon blood. Then we got all this stuff. I don't know if what's rare or not here, to be honest. Black eyes. More steel reinforcement. Ooh. Alrighty, guys. Just heading back. We're going to give him his stuff. But yeah, hopefully, uh, you know, even though we did hurt some of his base, hopefully this makes it up at least a tiny bit. All right, going up to their base. All right. Here we are. Let's give him his. And then here we have it. Everything right here. Boom. Alrighty, so I'm back here and he just said thank you so much, man. And yeah, I, hopefully that makes it up to him, you know, even a tiny little bit. They said if they find my channel, they will subscribe. <laughs> I don't know how he heard about my channel. Alright, I think our buddy from earlier has been calling us to the sinkhole. So let's go there. Let's pay him a visit. Damn, it's been a long day on Conan for me today. Oh, look, there's someone over there. Is this them? Who's that? Why doesn't it show the name? Steven? Look, a neat player. Steven. Wait. Is this old Craig right here? Nah. <laughs> no way it's old Craig. 
That'd be the funniest thing in the world. Wait, no, old Craig wouldn't look like that. Yeah, I don't think that's old Craig. That'd be funny though, uh, cause uh, I know old Craig always has that uh, goofy haircut with the bald spot on top. Is that him? Oh, there he is. He's telling me about this trap base. Oh my goodness, so Varg ended up redoing uh, old Craig's uh, trap base. That's awesome. This is in tier 3 though. <laughs> no way Steven would uh, farm this much. Damn, this is cool. He's just explaining how the trap base works. Now he's telling me about that one video that I made where I kept falling, trying to climb for a raid. And he's giving me a tip on how to not fall. Okay, he's having me try it out. Let's see. Okay, he says not to move your mouse. Oh. Oh my god, that is magic. Wow. Holy. That's awesome. Nice. That is genius. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Let's try it again. So basically, if you're trying to climb something like that, you climb and hold spacebar. Don't move the mouse at all. Just don't move the direction. And then, oh my god. <laughs> That's so cool. Damn, pro tips, man. See? That's what I mean. I need a sensei. Thank you, my friend. All right, there you have it, guys. Now that's how you climb. Let's all say thanks to Varg right here. Ooh, what are these? Daggers of the Outer Dark. Damn, these look deadly. Kind of scared to lose these. Give me some hardened brick, some hardened steel, and some shaped wood. That's very nice. All right, he's off to bed. Good night, my friend. Until next time. Off we go. All right, let's go back to base. It's been a very long day. Crazy thing is, there's still about two more hours of raid time, so I could be raided at any time. Alrighty guys, so this will be it for today's episode. I really hope you all enjoyed the video. I know a lot of you will disagree with my decision to give back all their loot considering this is a survival game, but I did what felt right in that moment and giving him his loot back definitely felt like the right thing to do because I did not want him to be wiped. I do want to say thank you to our buddy Varg for participating on this raid. It was a huge pleasure and I also want to thank Sadler for being a good sport about being raided. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already because I got a ton of new episodes. Episodes coming your way. Have a good day, everyone. Until next time.